As an entrepreneurial service provider, having an email list of people who are primed and ready to purchase from you is a key to growing a strong and profitable business. But how do you get people on your list? A lot of people will offer a freebie or an opt-in or a lead magnet or whatever you want to call it to bring people onto their list. But there are so many different things that different people are doing, it can be hard to know what opt-in or freebie you should create for your business. In this video, I'm going to give you two keys that you can keep in mind when you are thinking through what freebie or opt-in to offer. I'm Lori Reeves, founder and CEO of Brand Strength and the creator of Brand School. I help coaches, consultants, and other professional service providers who struggle to consistently hit their revenue goals, understand where their marketing is going wrong so they can fix it, and finally reach more of the people they're destined to help and hit those revenue goals consistently. Okay, so let's talk about what freebie or opt-in you should create. There are two things that you need to keep in mind when you are looking at what you should create. The first thing is congruence, okay? So you want somebody who's going to take your freebie or your opt-in to be the exact same person who would want what you're selling. Now I know this sounds like a completely obvious thing to say, but you would be surprised when you look at what freebies people are offering and then what service they're hoping to sell the people on their email list. And there's just no congruence. So an example would be a web designer who really only wants to build websites for other people. They don't want to teach how to build a website. But their freebie is how to build your own website or what to put together so that you can build your own website. Now, that person who wants to grab that freebie is maybe not the person who's ready to hire somebody to build their website for them. So there's not that congruence of the person grabbing the freebie and being closer to hiring you for what you do. Or I have another client who's a therapist and she wants to work with people who have eating disorders, but she originally created an ebook to help mothers with young children have a more joyful life. Well, those mothers who have those children, even if that ebook that you want to give out is great information, it's not going to lead people right into the hands of the offering that you are wanting to sell. So I want you to just keep in mind that it doesn't matter what other people are offering because as a freebie or an opt-in because you don't know exactly what all products or packages they have on the back end that they want to sell. There are some web designers who will either build you a website or teach you how to build one yourself or give you, you know, some kind of a course where you have a template and you can build it yourself. Now, if that's the case for you, then having a freebie that shows somebody how they can pull together everything they would need to build a site, if you have a low cost template course option that somebody can take what you uh, helped them create in their opt-in and then take your paid product and put it into action fully, then you have that congruence. So. A lot of times I like to help people think through like what would be the very first step that someone needs to take or what would they need to know or gather in order to move forward and work with you. So that's where you're going to get the congruence that you have between your freebie or whatever you're offering to get people on your email list and the offering that you're hoping to sell them at some point down the line. Now, the second thing that you need to keep in mind with your freebie or your opt-in is that you need to not fully solve a problem. I've seen clients who have a, an ebook or a, a little mini course and it completely solves a problem. And then when the person goes through it, they don't feel an, an immediate need to get help again. So the best kind of freebie that you can offer is showing somebody that they can have success with something right up front by achieving something small or get, you know, gathering some things together so that they are prepared to move forward. But it's important for you to make sure that you're communicating that at the end of the person's journey through your opt-in or your freebie or whatever, again, whatever it is, if it's a mini course or whatever, that they're now ready to move forward and take the next step, which would be 
available to them through a program that you offer that is paid. So that's how you need to think through what you can offer as a freebie, a lead generator, lead magnet, whatever you're going to call it, to get people onto your list so that you can move them through your process of getting to know, like, and trust you even more and know that you have the solution that they've been looking for. I hope this was helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get more tips like this every week, and I'll see you in the next video.